Hello, I would like to show you some of the new features in Beltmaker 1.6. Uh, with this update there are some nice quality of life features. Like over here you can see this new section called snapping. We have everything set up over here and you can see it in action when I change the control points of the control curve. You can see the belt is automatically snapped to the mesh underneath. And you can see as well that the tilt is also adjusted. We can also disable the snapping for control points. We do it by pressing V, going into set handle type and choosing the type 3. And now you can freely move the point around and also you can adjust the tilt of this point. So let's reset the shape of this belt for now and let's take a look at some other options of snapping. So right now the snapping is set to object and we pick this dress and you can see that if I move this uh, point too far it's no longer snapped because this mesh only goes so far but we can fix that uh, by changing the snapping to collection. So for now let's uh, drop this corset and the dress into one collection and we pick this collection over here. We change snap to, to collection and now you can see uh, that's no longer an issue. The belt will be snapped along those two objects. And finally there is this snap offset setting over here uh, with which we can adjust the shape uh, some more. So that's it for the snapping part. And the other new feature is that we can have more than one extra for the belt. And also there is this new checkbox, uh, the form. So you can see over here if I go for some more extreme shape of this curve, uh, you can see um, yeah, that the mesh is being uh, transformed like that. And if we just uncheck the deform, the extras will be instance along the, uh, along the control curve. And also same over here. We just uncheck the deform and you can see that the shape is much nicer. All right, and the other new feature you can find over in the UVs section. It is the extra UV overlap and if it's turned on all the instanced extras will share the UV space and if it's off uh, the whole belt will be just uh, unwrapped and each part will have its own individual UV space. All right and moving on I actually wanted for a second to go back to the snapping features and uh, if we disable the snapping for one of the control points you will see that in the free handle type, if I grab one of the handles, it will break in the middle, so to speak. So just remember, you can control the shape with the scale and rotation, so it will behave more like in the automatic state. All right, and finally, we have these options to deform a start and end. Uh, let's drop a new belt into the scene to showcase it. I always recommend uh, working on a copy and keeping the original one in the scene. All right, and let's see how it works. So if we mm, change the shape like so, and if we bend uh, the belt, you can see uh, that if we uh, check the, the form start, uh, we have this unwanted shape and uh, it works similarly for the end. So especially if we have some buckles or uh, something like that, we don't want uh, this part of the belt to deform. And all the other features uh, work as they mm, always do. So we can adjust the shape with the tilt and we have a lot of different meshes to choose from for the start and the end of the belt, uh, like so. And yeah, we can also use this deform end in this case, so the buckle doesn't deform. And we can change the middle buckle, slide the middle buckle, and also we can add more holes to the belt, like so. So that's pretty much it. I was showing you those last features, just in case you are seeing Belt Maker for the first time. With this new update, I hope you will enjoy using this tool even more. And for the final part of this video, I would like to share with you a time lapse of those snapping features in action. So that's it. Thank you for watching.